Hey everyone, Richard Mitchell here with Joystick.com, and for XBLA in Brief this week, we're taking a look at Crazy Machines, Elements, and Hole in the Wall. First up, Crazy Machines, Elements. As you can see, Crazy Machines is a puzzle game that borrows more than a few ideas from the Incredible Machine series. Uh, players manipulate Rube Goldberg devices in order to achieve simple goals, like breaking a base, for example. Or knocking over bowling pins. There's really not much more to it than what you see here. Uh, the trial version is actually pretty lengthy and includes lots of different puzzles for you to try out. The full version is 800 Microsoft points, that's $10. It includes 100 different levels in a single player game. And uh, that's about it. If you like logic puzzle games, you might want to check it out. Next up is Hole in the Wall, based on the television game show of the same name. This game is a smash hit all over the world. Now it's finally here in your living room. It's the crazy Japanese show that we call Hole in the Wall. Want to be in this team? Please come over. Hole in the Wall is a Kinect game, only the second Kinect game on Xbox Live Arcade. So first things first, you have to get your avatar suited up in the proper outfit. And just like the game show, the object is to fit your own body inside the silhouettes as they come charging at you from the front of the screen. Unlike the game show, since there's no way for that wall to actually come out of the TV and knock you into a pool of water, the game judges your pose and slowly fills up the meter. The faster you fill up the meter, the faster you pass the pose. If you fail to fill up the meter, then you fail the pose. Fail three times, and it's game over. And for the record, this one is super hard. Wow. Nice! And this one's not my fault because the coffee table was in my way. And like all Kinect games, half of the fun is the fact that it takes embarrassing pictures of you while you're playing. You can peruse these in between rounds, and you can look at these while I finish up this video. Uh, the full version of Hole in the Wall includes a multiplayer for up to four players. That's two teams of two competing against one another, having to pose together at the same time. And it's actually quite a bit of fun. It makes good use of the Kinect, and if you're looking for a nice, cheap Kinect game to play, you might want to try it out. The full version is 800 Microsoft points. That's 10 bucks. Thank you. 